Right, I'm going to be honest with you guys. I'm going to come out the closet on this one, but I fucking love touring. Didn't think I would, but really, I mean, it is real good fun. But not that kind of weird, um, that kind of weird touring where it's like, uh, you buy like a BMW, those, the GSs which have, oh no, is it going to shit? Yeah, that was the other thing about this thing, is that uh, that was actually this, me putting the stand down, but the, the old girl nearly gave up on me. Went to have something to eat uh, about sort of half an hour ago, and um, came out and then went to start the bike. The fucking thing just kept on uh, turning over. I mean, it's, I, mean I don't know, I think this is like a... I don't know what year this Transalp is, but uh, it's got ABS, so try and date that however you want to date it. Anyway, so I tried to uh, turn it on and then you know, the fucking thing just kept on going over and over and over. I opened up the throttle a bit. I mean, all the bikes that I've used so far, I've never had to do the thing where you know you have to open the, open the throttle in order to start the fucking thing. I mean, that's sort of what you expect to do on a pre-fuel injected bike. I'm guessing it's probably something to do with the fact that I'd been coming down from the uh, top of the cloudy mountain and I'd pretty much used engine braking the whole way down. So there's probably been a lot of sort of overrun, if that's the right word, so unburnt fuel being dumped into the, or around the cylinder areas. Oh, by the way, these are all uh, oranges or clementines or something or the other. Anyway, had to twist it a bit and then clear out the, uh, clear out the cylinder, but it, it did start, starting to wonder a bit, you know, what the fuck am I going to have to call the uh, breakdown? Well, here we go. I mean, look at this. There's some real beautiful farmland scenery. Terraces. Clouds. Farmhouses. Everything you could fucking want. Yeah, so back to the touring thing. You know, I'm not really one for the sort of the uh, getting a 1200 GS and fucking pottering around, you know, you've got all the kit, the fog lights, you know, I'm sure some people even attach some kind of worn tow rope on it as well, thinking they're in a 4x4, but, um, I mean, just look at that, you've got, I mean, there's a little valley, it's just, it's just fucking pretty, I mean, what more could you ask for? Yeah, I mean, I think if you go touring, you should, like, try and aim to get kind of lost, I mean, I'm not getting fully lost here, I, mean, I know my vague direction, and the only problem is I've got to be careful about which roads I choose, because uh, although some of these roads are paved, others do end up uh, becoming dirt tracks, and I'm, I just have had not enough practice with, a, with an adventure bike on dirt. I mean, I could do it if it were an actual dirt bike, but uh, nowhere am I taking an adventure bike off-road. But yeah, I mean, this is... This is really pretty countryside, and this it's only about, oh, I don't know, maybe about an hour away from Faro. And this is exactly what I wanted to find. I mean, I think there's still mobile phone reception here, I haven't actually checked. But uh, in some places where I've been, there hasn't been reception, and uh, it's kind of when you go out into the further out areas and you're on your own, you have a few times thought about uh, you know, if you're riding around for an hour or two and you, you've got no reception, you don't know where the house, where there's, you know, if there's people nearby, you know, you do kind of want to have an Inmarsat phone with you, just in case, just in case uh, something fucks up there. Oh God, I've really got to stop for a picture, but um, I do want to ride. Maybe I'll come here tomorrow. The other thing about touring is I'm, uh, I'm not sure whether I'd want to do the slumming it touring, you know, with a like a camping kit and what have you. Because oh, actually, while we're passing this kind of stuff, um, when I did the enduro, it was kind of it was around these areas, and um, I think a bit further west. And basically, where you see these kind of brown uh, pathways that go up these uh, go up these hills. You basically go around on those things just for miles and miles. I mean, I, I, I don't even know how many square kilometers. I mean, there's around here that you can go doing it, and it's just it's endless. You just go on forever. 
I mean, don't get me wrong, I've done camping. I've done camping and it's just, it's just when you've been riding the whole day, I don't particularly want to go into a plastic bag that smells of fox piss. It's just, it's just not my idea of fun. Much prefer to have, you know, nice bed, really, you know, get well rested and then go straight out the next day. You know, I really should stop. I don't want to, see, I don't want to take a picture when there's no, actually, you know, you know what, I'm going to take a picture, fuck it. Okay, do my best not to fall off the edge. I should actually do a review of equipment that works well with uh, motorcycle gloves. Because I hate pissing about and uh, having to take them off, put them back on again. Such a fucking faff. It's kind of weird actually, talking to yourself. I, mean, I know this will eventually be uploaded. In a sense, I, you know, I take it. You take more in because uh, you want to sort of explain it to somebody else. Well, somebody, well, the somebody else is being all of you, and hopefully you find it interesting. Right, I'm going to try this. Uh, the camera supposedly has a panoramic mode, so shit, nearly fell off. So, what it say? Pan the camera, pressing the shutter. Okay, here we go. Oh, fuck. There we go. Oh, piss it. Well, ideally, I wanted the bike in there. Oh, fuck it, I've got ants all over me. Fucking cunts. Shit. Fuckers. Oh, well, Jesus, cunt. Shit. Ah. Oh. Literally ants in my pants. Christ, I've got to get out of here. They're all over the fucking road. Can't stop, anyway. Talk later. Mm -hmm.